it, but let's just say she tempted rape fate. Well, <laughs> uh, the the point of this film really is, or at least of the original when this film echoes that, is to make everything not be completely clear cut morally. Mm-hmm. And, and I think that the the ham handed part here is that it doesn't really get that right. There's a point where it's trying so hard to clone everything that happens. I mean, every detail that happens in the original film. And yet when it gets to the actual, okay, everything has come to a head, you know, when the guys are sieging the, this house that the, the couple live in. And I don't want to tell exactly how it gets there. Let's just say it involves a retard, a version of the guy from prison break. Mm-hmm. I, I don't, don't remember the actor's I name. Know. I watched that show. Yeah. <laughs> I know, yeah. They're basically it, it, defending this guy. But when it, it gets to that mice point. Right. Right. It was an they're, Mice they're and Men moment. Defending a mentally challenged person. Yeah, yeah. And he's even beside the point. He's like, he's there uh, because it turns into like, no, this is my fucking castle. And I already hate these motherfuckers. And uh, they're not coming in. And it turns into a, a little war. He was kind of and the yet, catalyst. And yet at explosion. that point, it's just a thriller. It's like all that point, everything else that the original film was trying to do and build is just, it's not really, it doesn't mean anything once you get to the, the, the last 20 minutes. It's just a thriller. That said, having shamefully not seen the original Straw Dogs. And shame on you, yes. Yeah, and no, it's, it's ridiculous. I really should see it. But the movie had my stomach in knots the whole time. And I thought it was, as a thriller, it was very effective. And I was sitting there watching it, being thankful that I hadn't seen the original. Yeah. Because I know I would be pointing out all of the shortcomings. And sure enough, after the film, I'm talking to Cyrus, and he's pointing out how it missed the boat on everything that the original hit. But again, that said, I thought it was really intense. Maybe it's because I grew up in a small town in West Texas, and I thought, <laughs> I'm never going back! I'm never going back! <laughs> Certainly not with Kate Bosworth. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's cool, though. I mean, that, no, I think that's a great thing to hear, you know, because a lot of people have seen it is a classic. A lot of people have seen the 1971 Sam Peckinpah original, and you know, a lot of people are going to go into this, and they want to know how this works. I, I'm curious myself. I, you know, as, as far as I'm concerned, I would take a movie, whether it's a remake or not, based on what it's trying to do. It sounds like this movie was trying to be a thriller. It knows it can't match the subtext of the original film. And you're saying that on that level, it worked. Yeah, I it again, it had my stomach in knots. And I was I found myself grinding my teeth because I thought it really effectively built up the tension. And uh, and a lot of the characters were so despicable. And yet, is that why uh, you uh, baby food mash carrots right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, uh, the uh, but the it, it was complicated by the fact that Kate Bosworth was kind of an unlikable bitch. And so you really were, I mean, you knew who to root for and the whole time, but it muddied the water. And it seemed like it pushed that because where, you know, it can't copy the ambiguity in the subtext of the original film, they're going to create some new ones. And, like, of course, nobody deserves to be raped. And we, we laughed about that, but we don't, you know, we, we strongly believe that nobody yeah. deserves that. But it seems like they want to push that character to that point where you have to question yourself, saying, wow, this, this character asked for it, but nobody deserves it. What, what, am I wrong well, for thinking that? it raises that? a difficult and interesting question. Yeah, I mean, the answer, obviously, is no. No one deserves that. But uh, they keep provoking the audience to see how she provoked that situation, you know. <laughs> and and I, I'm not even trying to be funny, really. So it's it's a it's a perfect date movie then. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. you, just, you just glared her the whole Cyrus time. Cyrus and I held hands the whole time. <laughs> we did. And I'm sorry if there's some fingernail marks in your palm. I right? know. I raped him afterwards. <laughs> yeah, now, now, Jason. It's, well, it was. It's not rape if I asked you to. <laughs> I was about to say he's bigger than you. You must roof it. Is it? Isn't it nice to go to this movie and not be a killjoy like Cyrus who can just sit there going, it ain't like the original. And the original was, <laughs> was better. I, yeah. yeah, you might think that's all right, but if you had been there in 1973 <laughs> right. to see the, the other one, you, you see this was nothing. But you know how much pleasure there is in being that arrogant douchebag? Oh, no. <laughs> no. It and, feels good to be right. <laughs> and to be fair, I actually agree with Jason. I mean, I think this is a very competent, decently made thriller. It's a good film. It's just not a really great film. No. You know, I mean, all that original subtext, all that reason for existing helped the original, the way that you were so disturbed at the end, the fact that Dustin Hoffman goes so over the top and, you know, getting back to the, on these guys. I mean, it's distressing in the original. You're not really on his side anymore. At really? The end Cause it's so brutal in here. Even though it's bloodier, the the movie wants you totally be on on James Marsden's side. Yeah. There's no confusion at the end. There's no sense of there's no sense of moral outrage. It's just about getting the audience See, to go, yeah, woo! 
Woo! I think that's, I think that that's sad, man. You, <laughs> you make the audience like they're rednecks. Yeah, yeah, man, you should have seen this audience. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, they were all wearing overalls, to be yeah. fair. <laughs> yeah. And they had, yeah, one, they had hay in between the their guy teeth. Sitting next to his me, ass, sea bass. The guy sitting next to me was whittling the whole time. That was what, you me. That was <laughs> but you know what, man? I do think, and I'm not trying to be... I'm not trying to be that arrogant asshole that you are. No, I, I do. I do think it's sad though that we can't appreciate our audiences. I mean, we talk about the audiences as being dumbed down to Dan, but they're not. Audiences are smart. They they take what we give them, and we don't trust our audiences enough to be able to uh, handle a complicated leading person, somebody that's supposed to be the hero, but ends up turning out to be maybe somebody you can't root for anymore. I mean. Today, Hollywood, they, they say, okay, you need a clear-cut hero at the end. This guy's a victim. He needs to like yeah. be somebody you root for. And I think that's I do, I do think that's kind of sad. Well, it's, it's not the audience that's broken. It's the system that's broken. Because, <laughs> Here we go. Because, okay. Because right. what happened? Leon's out of order. You're <laughs> out of order. <laughs> the whole studio's out of order. <laughs> if I was half the man I used to be, I'd take a flamethrower to this place. Uh, <laughs> the problem is they'll make a movie like the one we want to see, and then they'll, they'll get – uh, audience, a small audience full of slack jawed yokels, and show it to them, and they come out going like, "I don't know, I didn't like the hero by the time it was done." I'm, yeah, I mean, he was just mean, and then and then they panic and go like, "Well, I guess we better change it, or yeah. it's too complicated. We we got to make it, we got to make it dumber." Well, for you know what? Right. Sometimes it works. So I got well, on, on a business. Side. The bean counters are in charge. Most yeah. of the people who are calling these shots and doling out the money are not artists by any stretch of the imagination. I don't want to get pretentious about it, but they're often. <laughs> Uh, lawyers or uh, accountants, you know, accountants yeah. who bankers, uh, yeah, bankers who sit there and try to say, well, what's the uh, what's the best way to uh, capitalize on this film, and that's to pander to the lowest common denominator. And yet, Jason was at that test screening and said, you know, I like that I rooted for James Mars. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a competent thriller. It's good to see Cyclops finally kick some ass. <laughs> He's After right. Three movies of being a bitch. He's right though. It is a competent thriller, and I did find myself cheering along with the audience. I mean, I was going. Okay, Okay, yeah, I like the original a lot better. I like that it made me think while really le left me shaky and disturbed at the end. This one, you're like, wow, this is super intense still. It just not, I'm just not going to be thinking about it. And I'm not rushing this along after. either. I'm, I really am dying to hear what your ratings are because you two seem to have, yeah. you two seem to be saying the same thing almost, yeah. but I know it's going to be different when you give your ratings. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's some old bullshit. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. I mean, if you I, want if my I review, seen... you can't handle my review. <laughs> if I had seen Straw Dogs, the original, uh, the 71, my rating might very well be different, too, because you're not going to be able to separate the original uh, when you're watching uh, a remake. It, yeah. You just you can't do it. it it's, it's too tough. But, um, yeah, my ratings. Uh, you ready? You ready to hear it? I'm bracing my, hold on. You, 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 hold on. Hold on. Full price? Let me get oh, full price. my God. Oh, Jeez. Yeah. Wow. Oh, he, he has laid down the gauntlet, Cyrus. He yeah, has. Now, now how, how are you going to answer back? Let's hear I it, am you pretentious going to, film snob bitch. I am going to leave the country. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not waking up at dawn with pistols. What are you, crazy? <laughs> no. Uh, I, I don't think this is the full price. I think it has problems throughout it. Outside of any comparisons to the original, can I ask you and something? Then, what, what, outside of your comparisons to the original, what are your problems with this film specifically? I didn't 100% buy either one of the lead actors in their roles. I had trouble really? with both of their performances. I really did. I thought that like uh, Marsden at points was pretty weak, and I thought I've never thought Kate Bosworth was a really spectacular actress. Is Jane and I Wood, think that Jane she's was in this? Yeah, yeah, he's one of the best. I, I can't believe we. Well, we'll. we'll uh, let me finish my review, and then we'll talk about James Woods real quick. But, uh, yeah, I, th I think there's problems here and there, and a lot of it has to do with the performances. I think the direction is pretty damn good. The guy is not a schlock horror film director. He's a guy who's done a lot of political-type films. And he actually, on the whole, knows what he's doing. It was but very competently directed. It was very yeah. competently directed. Uh, I would say Rod a, Lurie. Yeah, Rod Lurie. Rod Lurie. Oh, Rod Lurie. Yeah. Um, but... I, you know, it, it got me where it was supposed to take me, and, and I enjoyed it. And I hope that audiences aren't going to be our, our audience isn't going to be mad at me for comparing it as much as I did to the original. I can't help it. I literally rewatched Straw Dogs the day. I went to see the remake. Man, you did that just so you could complain about it, not being like the <laughs> well, original. Well, yeah. <laughs> but it's still, I give it a high matinee. I mean, okay. it's, it, is a, it is a fun film. It's just not a great film. 
But um, I'll as, agree with him. As far as uh, uh, James Woods, who in this is playing sort of the he's the dad of a young girl who is very upset at the the prison break guy, the town retard, basically who uh, who the town Cyrus. who they never Wait, really that, were, guy, right? they, that guy's name is Dominic Purcell. Okay, they never really say what he did, but apparently he did some sort of violence to woman at some point in the past, and the law never prosecuted him because they say we take care of our own in this Which, town. Which honestly is. How it happens. That's not any big stretch. That's right. what goes on in small towns in the South a lot. Right. And James Wood's like the ex football coach. He's a town drunk now. Uh, he's just full of venom and aggression. And he's kind of the one who leads the charge to the home of, of Marsden and Bosworth to, you know, say, you give us the retard and we'll let you go. He really is a detestable. And also one dimensional character. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's he's enjoyable to watch in it. He, he's not a, a good character, but I mean, he, he's chewing up the scenery and he's, you know, he's James Woods playing a racist sociopath. So. It's not the first time. No, no. <laughs> like it's, the real James Woods. Yeah, right. it's it's not, yeah. Like he, he just showed up <laughs> and, and they just kept, kept filming. Like, yeah. just, just keep the cameras rolling. That stuff the, is gold. The real James Woods is actually a member of Mensa. Yeah. And like an MIT grad or something like that. He's a genius. Yeah. And in this, he's this idiot, racist, uh, drunken football coach. And, uh, oh, God, it just Wait, reminded are, me of junior high. I was going to say, are there other types of football coaches? <laughs> <laughs> <Right. laughs> the black ones. <laughs> what uh, are you saying? But if they're black, they can't be an idiot racist. They can be a drunk racist. <laughs> let, let me introduce you to my dad. Yeah, you <laughs> need to come to Virginia. I would like to show, introduce you around. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I... I I appreciate the review. Thank you for your very astute review there, Cyrus. And uh, Did he say stupid? <laughs> no, I'm reserving that for the fool over here. <laughs> I really haven't seen the original. I detest you. I know. I'm, I'm rabble. <laughs> He's got some man in him after all. <laughs> Don't be scared. My house. I will not allow violence against this house. No! 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 no, 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 no.